Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike. I'm Bowtie RN. Just wanted to say hi and hope you're having a great weekend. It is Sunday, so it's time for my shave. If you look, I'm doing about two, two and a half days worth of growth, so I got quite a bit of growth there. And I thought I'd do things a little bit differently today. Mark over at Friendship Shaving started a tag video. I didn't get tagged in it, but I wouldn't want to go ahead and do the challenge anyways. That would be the, uh, the With the Grain Challenge. So the idea, and I've seen several people have come up with their own rules with it. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with the two passes with the grain. One razor, doesn't matter which razor you choose. I went ahead and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and choose the, the Razor Rock Lupo. But I'm going to go with the one with the double, com the double comb head or the, the Lupo DC. So it has on one side we have the open comb. On the other side we have the safety bar. Um, absolutely one of my favorite razors. This happens to be my favorite razor handle. It's probably the most aggressive handle I have. Um, I have, I've heard that the ambassador or the uh, console has some pretty aggressive handles there, but I don't have one. So this is actually as aggressive as I get, and it's still incredibly comfortable in my hand, but it does not slip at all. I'm going to go ahead and load that up with a, uh, a first time use the Gillette Platinum, my favorite, favorite blade for my go-to. We're using the uh, the 3P Italian pre-shave today. Um, great stuff, a bit of a strong scent on it, the uh, kind of eucalyptus scent, but goes away really quickly. Aff offers an incredible amount of protection for your shave, both pre-shave and post-shave, should you choose to use a post-shave. Soap today I'm gonna be using, I'm going back to the Magique. Um, absolutely, again, it's a wonderful soap as for a tribute for um, one of our wet shavers and a fundraiser for her, so. Absolutely wonderful soap. I went ahead and I was actually, um, this week was time for using me to use my Simpsons brush. I usually go back and forth. One week I'll use my Simpsons Trafalgar T2. The next week I'll use my, uh, the Yaki, the 24 millimeter. But I figured uh, looking at the Magic and then looking at the handle on the Yaki, I kind of had to use them together. They both got that purple swirl and the kind of cloud looking, a little bit of starry, Specs in the uh, the handle on the Gaki brush, so I kind of had to use that today. I've already lathered that up. Um, very easy to lather up. It's a little bit thirsty, but lathered up. Um, looks great on the brush. It takes very, very little. I do bowl lather, so I scoop a little bit out with a, uh, a Fender guitar pick and then put it in the bowl, smear it around as thin as I can, add a little bit of cold water, and then just work it up and see how it goes. All right, that's for, as far as what I'm going to be using today. I think that's pretty much everything. Go ahead and get my face wet real quick. I did just finish off a shower, so my skin's fairly soft. Um, whiskers are fairly soft, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. Not going to use too much on the pre-shave, but again, the pre-shave, um, strong, fairly strong eucalyptus scent, but it goes away very quickly. Kind of reminds me, if you've seen my other videos, I've mentioned it. Reminds me a lot of the Nogthema. Or almost like uh, during cold and flu season when you get that chest cold, you get that menthol rub on your chest. I used to hate it as a kid, but I do like it as an adult. It smells good, opens up, and it just does a good job. As far as pre shaves go, this is. Definitely one of my favorite pre-shaves. I do have the pre-shave soap from Razor Emporium, which again, nothing to laugh at. It's it's another really good pre-shave. But I haven't used this one in a while. I'm afraid to go ahead and pull it back out and use it. All right, pre-shave applied. Rinse my hands off real quick. That stuff is crazy, crazy slick. So I need to go ahead and get that off my fingers or I'll end up probably hurting myself. I won't drop the razor, but I end up dropping the brush or throwing it across the room, so don't want to do that. Don't want to have to clean that. All right, get that soap loaded up on the brush, doing a good job, and take it to the face. See if I can do it today without getting it on my glasses. I doubt it, but we'll give it a shot. I know I bowl lather, when I take it to my face, I do like to work it in. It's kind of a cross between bowl lather and face lather. So 
I guess one of Mark's viewers asked him if he'd consider doing a with the grain, just with the grain shave. Kind of a neat idea. Um, I've kind of found myself doing two pass shaves recently anyways, just I usually do one with the grain and one against the grain. But we'll see how we do today. And I chose the, uh, the Lupo because it has the head that has an open comb on one side and then the uh, safety bar on the other. So it kind of lets me cheat a little bit. I guess at the end, at the end of the uh, shave, there's three questions. Um, first question, is it a passable shave? So could you go to work with it? Second question, is it a smooth shave? I'm going to sideburns. And then the third question, how does it compare to your normal shave? Again, I I know I've done shave, at least one shave with a Lupo already on video. Absolutely love this razor. As with all of the Razor Rock products. I have the Razor Rock Game Changer 84, and then I have this Lupo. Both absolutely incredible razors. Really good deal for the price. Stainless steel. None of the, none of the zinc. Not that I personally have anything against zinc razors. I do have a couple, but as far as I'm concerned, as long as you keep it dry and taken care of, even the zinc, ra zinc razor will last forever. Or at least it'll last my lifetime. If you've not used a Lupo before, it's kind of a surprise. It feels super smooth, like almost no, no blade feedback, no blade feel. But at the end of the shave, it's, it seems incredibly efficient. So whereas I normally Oh, wow, I cut myself. I have a skin issue up there anyways. I've had that for a little while. Kind of got a mole up there. I need actually being seen by a dermatologist. I'm supposed to go tomorrow, but they canceled on me. I don't remember what I was even saying. But normally I lean towards a razor that has a little bit more blade feel and a little bit more feedback. Just because I like to hear it. I like to know it's doing a good job. All right, completely with the grain that pass and second pass, I'll be doing the same thing. Ton, a ton of whiskers taken off on that one. That open comb definitely helps you out on that one. Wipe the face a little bit. Pretty smooth all around. I, honestly, I could probably go to work like this. Little spot right there I see that I missed, but that wasn't the razor, that was me. I might end up doing two passes and a quick pickup. We'll see. So going everywhere today. All right. Just a little bit more water than I usually use. Kind of practicing. Started using the straight razor. And from everything I read, you kind of have to use a slightly wetter lather. So I'm kind of practicing. I'm working on that. 
and not going too wet that it irritates my face when I use the blade. So I think this is probably about as much water as I want in a lather. All right, rinse off my hands. Second pass. Normally I'd say across the grain or against the grain, but we're gonna be going with the grain today. Thirty degrees, very light touch. Let the razor do everything. A little bit of feedback there. I really think it's just there's really so little bit left. See if I can get that spot that I kind of missed. All right, the Adam's apple I have to do in the front mirror. Otherwise, I'd end up cutting my own throat. Wouldn't be able to push that one on YouTube. That'd be a waste of a day. Oh yeah, and it might hurt too. I just bit my flip. Sure did. You think with the grain I wouldn't even cut myself, but that's how it works. Start not paying attention to the razor, you end up biting yourself. I didn't mention this about the lupo a little bit earlier, but if you look at the head geometry on this one, the curve right here goes all the way down to meet the edge of the blade. So if you're using it for shaping or anything, this is probably one of the best razors you can use for shaping around the beard or the mustache. I obviously don't have one right now, but if I ever decided to grow that back, this is gonna be my go-to for shaping around it. All right, two passes. I don't even think I need any touch-ups. Everything looks pretty good. All right, we'll rinse off and see how I did. Cold water rinse today. Whole shave, whole shave today was actually cold water. So I use cold water to make my lather. Cold water to rinse the razor. Cold water to rinse my face. All right. So first question, is it a passable shave? Definitely, I could go to work, no problem. I'll probably go to work tomorrow morning without shaving. It'll probably still be that good. Is it a smooth shave? Um, it's smooth, definitely here on the cheeks, all the way down here. I have a little bit right here. But that's kind of where my pattern kind of goes. It looks a weird swirl, so I really kind of have a hard time going with the grain. This side, really not any, but this side, I get it right there. How's it compared to my normal shave? Not quite as good, but I had no problem. I can do this every day and be perfectly fine going too with the, with the grain and not even have to worry about it. I don't generally chase the BBS shave, so this is definitely darn fine shave, darn fine shave and would be perfectly fine for me. All right, go ahead and, I don't even think I'm bothered with the, uh, Bother with the Allen block today. Got it rinsed off really well. Pat that dry. And we'll go ahead and finish up today. We, we did the Magic Soap, so we'll do the Magic Post Shave Balm. One little squirt of that on your fingers. And it's enough. Honestly, it's enough. If I shave my head, it'd be enough to get my face 
my neck, my head, all perfectly fine. All right, as far as I'm concerned, two passes with the grain, perfectly valid option for shaving, wouldn't be a problem for me at all. I do like it. Um, thanks, Mark, for getting that one started. Just as an update, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. As soon as I hit 150, we'll be doing a giveaway. I have a couple different razors to choose from. I have a short micor, a long micor. I have a uh, black handled super speed. So we'll let you guys decide once we go ahead and do that drawing. Again, it's at 150. We'll be doing a uh, subscriber drawing. Other than that, have a great day, great shaves, and I'll see you next week, if not sooner.